Man, tell me, these men are about to spend 120 ems. 120 ems on Declan Rice, bruv. Every time Arsenal are linked to a player, I do a 10 year simulation, so let's get straight into it, bro. Declan Rice, stat wise, one of the best central defensive midfielders in the game, in my opinion as well. So you might disagree with that, but I believe that just overall, he's just got a hand in every pot, bro. So he's just like a multi man where he can just do many different things. Dribbling. 14 for a defensive minded player that's ridiculous in my opinion 17 tackling bro getting past this guy is like trying to get past those train barriers where the security's there along with the guys that work there and you ain't got no money on your oyster bro but you still have to get home so there's only one way out bro you better slide under those barriers big man but yeah no nah, it's mad like elite midfielder and he's only 23 in real life it's a different thing i don't know man but let's get into that 10 year simulation. Well, after 10 seasons, the guy's at Barcelona. So that just shows you the levels. Like, Barcelona had to snap him up. Barcelona are the ones that paid for Rice, bro. Literally. They're man there. What, what do they call it, bruv? Paella. They're man there. Has a competitive streak which can occasionally lead him to bending the rules, is the first con that I saw. Why are they trying to bait out? His thing, obviously he's paying refs on the side so that he doesn't get grabbed, bro, and then they're trying to bait it out. Another thing that I didn't really like, has shown signs that he might be on the decline as a footballer after over the last three months. He's like 33 now, so by you saying that he might be on his decline, it's just you sugarcoating the obvious. I don't know why they're, why they're not just straight up front and, and honest with me. Like I can see it with my own eyes. You don't have to sugarcoat the obvious. It's mad, bro. Highly reliable player who doesn't often let opponents get past him. Yeah, he's basically saying, because he's a chef, obviously, man's name's Rice. Like, when he's cooking with his rice, yeah, he's got meat in the pot. If you dare put your hand in that pot, similar to what you do when your mum's cooking the stew, because I know you do it, don't lie to me, bro. If you put your hand in that pot, you might not see that hand again. That's all they're saying in the most polite way possible. Like, he's not going to let no one beat him in that, bro. Like, and obviously on the pitch... He he is the guard. Like he might as well be outside back in the palace with that with that. I don't know what weapon it is, but they give man something. Might as well give it to him, bruv, when he's on that pitch, according to the stats or the the, the coach anyway. Another thing that I'm seeing, the current ability says world class, yes, yeah, it's, it's mad. We might as well just look at the stats, bro. Alright, so at West Ham, he was just a consistent performer, averaging about sevens. Literally, he's just doing his thing, just being a normal Declan Rice that he's doing right now, pretty much. Not really a goal or an assist machine, but that's because of the position that he's in. So, can't really get mad at that. One thing that I would say is that Barcelona spent 77 million on him. So, maybe the hundred and certain million that Arsenal are looking to spend, maybe it's not too bad. According to if Barcelona and game are spending near near around around that amount, maybe it's not as ridiculous as it sounds in my head. But yeah, no, nah, listen, at Barcelona, looks like he hit the ground running. Like, literally, he's even getting a bit of GA, but it's not too much. It's nothing life-changing, but let's see what he's won, bro. So, yeah, West Ham, he won literally nothing bro so um nothing to worry about when he's at west ham they're, they're just not good enough in game apparently so yeah when he went to barcelona won the super cup won won the, the spanish super cup won the spanish cup like this is all in quick succession yeah spanish cup runner up why are you showing me why are they showing me the runner-ups in the competitions bro that's embarrassing why did you do that bro first division championship um they won la liga which is obviously beautiful bro um, they're showing me that he finished fourth in the World Cup. I don't know why you're showing me that. That's kind of embarrassing, bro. Um, won the league again. Won the league again. Another cup. S Super Cup won again. He actually, Oh, wow. Man won the World Cup, bro. So, um, Declan Rice in-game is a legend still. Um, yeah. He, uh, you know what? Champions League winners. Okay, yeah. He's, he's done it all. He's done it all still. First division champions. I believe at club level with Barcelona, he's won everything. So, yeah. Declan Rice, his trophy... <laughs> can't speak today his trophy cabinet it's beautiful bro well in game it looks like you're getting that bang for your buck bruv this guy is a serial winner and stat wise he doesn't look like he's declining drast drastically over 10 years in any area like it's not like he's lost his pace or anything he's lost his technical ability or, or his first touch which is sometimes common these men usually lose the ability to control 
see the ball. Like strength's gone down a bit, but still, man, stat wise, he's just amazing. And I think in game, he's definitely signable. In real life, based on what I've just seen, I would say Arsenal spend that money, please. See what happens, bro. I would love to see what happens when Declan Rice goes to Arsenal. But yeah, as you can see, he, he doesn't really play about man like Rice, bro. So yeah, that's what Rice looks like after a ten-year simulation. Um, I can't speak today, I'll be honest, and you lot have a good day.